You've heard of Amber Alerts, but have you ever heard of Amber Hagerman? Because of her, thousands of missing kids have been saved, but Amber's own case is still unsolved. Let's recap. It was a Saturday afternoon in Arlington, Texas, January 13th, 1996. Nine-year-old Amber and her five-year-old brother, Ricky, were visiting their grandparents with their mother, Donna. The little family of three had had a tough year. Donna was going it alone after splitting from Amber and Ricky's father, Richard. Now, he was an enthusiastic drinker with a temper. And after the police were called one too many times, Donna decided that she and the kids would be better off on their own. So the little family of three were staying in a shelter while Donna struggled to make ends meet. But slowly and surely, she put a life together for them, and before too long, they had their own apartment. Hard work did not go unnoticed. The Dallas news station, WFAA, happened to be producing a documentary about families who had gotten off of welfare. And guess who was starring in it? Donna, Amber, and Ricky. Though the WFAA cameras followed the family around for weeks, and when Amber unwrapped her favorite Barbie on her ninth birthday, the cameras were there to record it. When she got a brand new pink bike for Christmas, her joy was caught on video. The documentary was almost finished. It was supposed to air at the end of January, but when a strange man grabbed Amber off her new pink bike on January 13th, the WFAA documentary suddenly turned into a true crime series. So let's talk about what happened that day. Amber and Ricky were getting bored sticking to their grandparents' front yard. They had wheels they wanted to go exploring, so they got permission to ride their bikes, but only if they stayed on the block and didn't go any farther. Except that mom didn't know that there was a really cool ramp in the parking lot of the abandoned Winn-Dixie grocery store store two blocks away. So Amber's like, come on, Ricky, let's go. And of course, he's the little brother, so he's following her. And they head that way at 310 on a Saturday afternoon. But then Ricky got nervous. He didn't want to get in trouble. So he told Amber he was going to go back. And she said, fine, go. You know, I'll be right behind you. But when he pulled up to the house, he was alone. And when his grandpa found out that Amber wasn't with him, he jumped in his truck and drove over to the grocery store parking lot to get her. But she was already gone. The only thing Thing left of her was her pink bike. It was 3.18 p.m. It took only eight minutes for Amber Hagerman to disappear. So the police had already been called. Someone saw Amber get taken. 78-year-old Jimmy Kevill had a good view of the parking lot from his backyard. He saw Amber riding around by herself, and then he saw a black pickup pull up next to her. A man in his late 20s, early 30s with dark hair, maybe white, maybe Hispanic, jumped out and grabbed the nine-year-old right off her bike. Amber's feet never touched the ground, but she kicked and screamed trying to get away, which made Jimmy think, hmm, this isn't good. This isn't right. I'm going to call the police and let them know about it. And to this day, he is still the only witness to come forward, despite the fact that there was a laundromat right across the parking lot, but no one there ever came forward. So the story made the six o'clock news. Thousands of tips came flooding in. The entire town was on the lookout for this little girl. They found her four days later, a man walking his dog behind an apartment complex about four miles away from where she was last seen, stumbled across her body, washed up in a drainage ditch. She was bruised, naked, except for a sock on her left foot, and her throat was cut. The rest of her clothes have never been found. Oh, based on the autopsy, police think that she was kept alive for at least two of the four days she was missing. But to this day, they don't know who did it. They ran down the usual suspects, the known sex offenders, her father, her father's friends, the WFAA camera crew that had so much footage of her and her family. One by one, every one they questioned was cleared. Not one tip led to the guy who did it, which was strange because typically a child is killed only hours after an abduction, but Amber was kept alive. And the man who took her drove right down a busy street, right through town. Now, if only there had been some kind of alert system to broadcast a description of his truck and Amber, as soon as the police were called, she might have been saved. And that is how the Amber Alert was born. A Dallas woman named Diane Simone heard about Amber's abduction on the news and she wanted to help, but she didn't really know how. So she called a local radio station with an idea. She said, we have weather and civil defense alerts, so why don't we have the same thing for 
abducted children. Her good idea took off from there, and that became the Amber Alert. Amber, A-M-B-E-R, stands for America's Missing Broadcast Emergency Response. And two years after Amber's body was found, the Amber Alert saved its first child, Ray Lee Bradbury. Eight weeks old, she was taken by her babysitter in Arlington. When the Amber Alert went out, the entire town was looking for the babysitter's turquoise truck. 90 minutes later, they found her. Ray Lee was asleep, but unharmed in the truck. Since then, 31 countries have put together similar alert systems, and thousands of kids have been saved. But... Don't you think it's high time Amber's case was solved too? Police say there is DNA, but they won't say much more than that. Not even if she was sexually assaulted, because that is information only the man who did it would know about. Oh, here's hoping they can use what they have to get this little girl the justice that she deserves. And that's your recap. Thanks for hanging out with us today. If you like getting all the crime in half the time, go ahead and tap that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss a story. We're here Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, but don't go away. Catch up on more recaps right here, right now. Until next time, take care.